Hello, welcome back to my channel, Charlie's Lessons. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record, edit, and upload professional and engaging videos for your students straight to Google Classroom. Ever since the inception of the flipped classroom, it's become more important for teachers not to be able to deliver content face-to-face -face in the classroom, but also provide your students with input outside of the class. And this is why a screen recorder that can create videos in no time for your students can be a really important tool for teachers. When you first make a screen recording, it might look like this. However, today I'm gonna to show you a program that can take that and make it look like this. And as you can imagine, if we're gonna ask our students to sit down in their free time to do homework, we might as well make our videos as engaging as possible for them. And that's why Focusy is gonna be the tool for you. Usually when a teacher like you or me has to make a screen recording for their students, they have to use up to two different tools. One, to record the screen, and a second tool to edit the video. And usually when you're editing the video and you wanna include some you know, interesting effects, some zoom animations or so on, you have to do those manually, which again can take too much time. And you know, that teachers, we don't have enough time to do anything. So you're probably wondering, where do we find Focusy? So we're gonna to go to focusy.imobi.com and we're just gonna to go to the top right-hand corner and go to free download. So once we have Focusy installed and we start the program, we're gonna get presented with three different options and these relate to what areas we wanna record. So the first option is the full screen. So this is going to pick up everything that's on your computer. Then we have custom and then also we have window. So we're just going to grab a window. This could be a program or a window within the browser of which we want to record. So I'm going to show you as well the tools we can add on the right. So we can add our webcam. We can also add the microphone and the speaker. And also finally, we can add a teleprompter. So if you're not really comfortable just ad-libbing, then you could add the text and just read from that. Now, let's say I just want to record a window. So I'm gonna make sure I've got everything selected here. That's correct. And I'll go to window. Now it's gonna ask me to choose which window I'd like to use. So I'm just gonna click on this tab at the very top. So all I need to do is just go to record and then I can start speaking, I can start clicking on elements, I can start opening new pages, etc. And all of that would be recorded. And as soon as I press stop, get launched straight into the Focusy video editor, which is so simple to use, but we're not gonna look into that just yet. Before I show you how the Focusy video editor works, which is probably the best part, I actually do need to make a video for my students. So are we gonna go do that yesterday? Here we are on the project that I made the other day for my students. As we can see, we're now in the editor. On the left-hand side, we have various options. So we can make a lot of different changes to the cursor. We can add extra animations. We can make changes to the camera, which is what you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. We can also play with the audio control. So this is my voice or imagine that the video contain music or, or other sounds. We could also make changes to that. We can also add captions, which we're gonna look at in a moment. And we could also finally just give it that professional touch by adding a watermark. And that's watermark could be for your own business, school or company, for example. First, we're on the canvas side. So as we saw before, we could choose different options when recording. Um, at the moment, the original is set, but I could also go to this custom setting and choose a aspect ratio that is unique or suitable for where I'm going to be uploading my video. In this example, we're looking at how we upload videos to Google Classroom. If we scroll down to the bottom, we have some options and what we can do to the background. So as you can see, I have this blue gradient background at the moment, but I could change this to a solid color or maybe something completely customizable like this here. The next part is the cursor. Now, I think this is a really nice little feature on uh, Focusy and we can change the cursor effect. So I actually like this sparkle one here and we can change the cursor style. So I'm gonna choose this one just right here. The third thing we can do is actually make a click sound. So every time we select or highlight something, 
it's going to draw attention not only using the cursor style and effect but also with a sound and this is useful for our students as well then we go to animations so in a moment you'll see how the uh, zoom features work but we can also change how quickly the cursor moves and also when we do zoom in how slow or fast is that so i've got it set to slow at the moment but i might just push it up to medium and when we go to camera at this moment i'm appearing in the bottom left hand corner but i could easily make changes so i can do like this, like this, like this, or like this. And finally, I'm gonna generate captions for my students just to give them that extra bit of support. Once the captions have been generated, I can choose whether they appear in the middle, the top, or at the bottom as usual, and I can change the size. Now, let's have a look at these famous automatic zooming features that Focusy have. So you can see on the editor here at the very bottom, we can see we've got some zoom features already applied that have been automatic and these have picked up of when I'm highlighting or circling vocabulary. So let's just take a look at what that looks like. So, so the first word is proceed, aisle, card, passport, priority, x-ray, hand, gate, check, and boards. Okay, so can you tell me which one do you think is the answer? To so as you can see there, every time I selected or highlighted a piece of vocabulary, it was zooming in and it stayed zoomed in until I got to the very end and it came out so the students could see all the text. Passport, very good. If you've got a passport, then you're now my favorite student. If you're noticing any audio issues or visual issues, then these will all be removed when we export the video. Once we're happy with the video we've made, which I think at the moment I am, I'm gonna to go to export. And here I'm gonna choose the important settings that I'm gonna to need to change. So I'm gonna make sure it's set to MP4 and I'm gonna choose a resolution that is suitable. So I'm just go to export right here and Focusy will begin to export your video. So here I am on Google Classroom. I'm ready to upload my video. So first I'm gonna to go to classwork and go to create an assignment. I'm gonna give this a title. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna to have to add the video. We can go to upload, which is gonna go up straight to Google Drive. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to browse. I'm gonna locate the video I made with Focusy. As you can see, the video that we exported with Focusy is actually a pretty decent size. It's not too heavy. So in this case, it was really quick to upload. If you have a video that is a larger size, then you could upload it to YouTube. But in this case, we've already uploaded the video to Google Drive and to our Google Classroom assignments. And we're just gonna to go to the top right-hand corner and go to assign. And as you can see, our students have now got their assignment ready to be done. And all they need to do is follow the instructions. And if they click on the video. Hello everyone, remember that next and here is a video that I created on the focus So it took me a few minutes to record and edit the video using focus -E. It took me a further few minutes just to export the video and then upload it to Google Classroom. And in no time at all really compared to previous traditional methods, I was able to upload a video for my students so that they are ready for our next class. So if you're looking for a screen recorder that truly saves you time as a teacher and that seamlessly integrates with Google Classroom, one of the most popular LMSs out there, then Focusy has to be your first choice. You see there with the animations, the ability to change the layout, the cursor effects, the instant captions, these were all features that we really need as teachers. Thank you for watching this video on Focusy's screen recorder. Hope it's useful for you. I'll see you in the next video.